यस गाइस लेट अस रिवाइज दिस चैप्टर बेटा पब्लिक फाइनेंस में फर्स्ट यूनिट फिजिकल फंक्शंस द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई टोल्ड यू इन दिस चैप्टर बेटा इज व्हाट इज इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी डील्स विद द पैटर्न ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी ओवर अ स्पेसिफाइड पीरियड ऑफ टाइम गाइस इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी वुड कवर योर इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी एग्रीकल्चरल पॉलिसी uh it would cover your trade policy monetary policies fiscal policies guys when we use the word public finance as such guys we are basically talking about finance related to government and government entities guys the scope of public finance beta covers their revenue side expenditure side it covers uh, the public debt and financial administration i have shown you a government budget beta as to how the government budget is prepared what are all the receipts that the government talks about what are all the expenditures that the government talks about so under receipts beta government can have tax revenues in the form of corporate tax personal tax in the form of excise duty gst customs duty in the uh, for non tax revenues beta government can have uh, say guys uh, revenue receipts in the form of interest in the form of uh, dividends in the form of profits guys the government is receiving or and beta as far as non revenue receipts are concerned capital receipts are concerned beta it can be through disinvestment and obviously beta government might have to borrow guys to fund if there's any deficit if there's any deficit beta that comes under debt part expenditure mein again you will have revenue and capital expenditure guys what are all the different types of subsidies different sectors different ministries ko kitna allocation mil raha hai beta fiscal policy guys the literal meaning of the word fiscal policy is the use of government spending use of government receipts and fiscal debt that is the amount of debt beta public debt to uh, influence the pattern of economic activity and also guys the overall level of aggregate demand overall level of output and employment guys in a country that is beta fiscal policy i have given a lot of examples guys here as to how the government influences the pattern of economic activity how the government is trying to improve the overall economic activity guys overall uh, level of uh, economic activity in the country we spoke about public uh, the sorry production linked incentive scheme as such guys we spoken about subsidized food uh, subsidized electricity subsidized housing free housing free health free education collateral free loans as such beta that are being given credit guarantee schemes bahut sare cheeze beta that are done to improve and then beta we spoke about next thing that we did in this chapter beta is the role of government in an economic system first you might want to know why do we need an economic system there's always a uh, constraints on resources beta qualitative and quantitative constraints on resources that will uh, prevent beta from producing all the economic goods and services that are desired by the economy so you want an economic system beta to answer what is to be produced how is it to be produced for whom is it to be produced and what are the resources beta that are supposed to be set aside guys for increasing the production capacity of the country and then beta there are three types of economic systems that we spoke about one is capitalism where resource allocation is done by private players by the free market then there is socialism where resource allocation is uh, done by the government and then beta there is mixed economy where resource allocation is undertaken by both private as well as government guys classical economists beta like adam smith first beta believes that a uh, equilibrium level of output guys in an economy would automatically occur at the natural level of real gdp guys however there are certain functions like national defense courts laws regulations beta certain public institutions where government uh, intervention is required you cannot leave this to private players because there is no profit motive and there will be under production of these goods and services if if left in the hands of private players on the other side beta kinesian says ye sab to hai hi hai we are not denying that this is required but apart from this government intervention will also be required because not necessary that the equilibrium level of output occurs at the natural level of real gdp guys government has to influence the economic activity beta of a country in a positive way you know positive way so this is why beta we need government guys uh, we government ka this is the role of government in an economic system in an economic system richard musgrave beta divides or classifies the fiscal functions of a government guys into three branches he talks about allocation function he talks about redistribution function and stabilization function i repeat allocation function guys income redistribution function and stabilization function under allocation function beta we are talking about the efficient or optimum utilization of resources optimum utilization of resources beta so that uh, the right quantity of goods beta wherever required are produced as such guys and there are no wastages there are no wastages as such guys if resource allocation is left to the private sector there can be under production of over production of certain goods public goods may not be produced in the right quantity this is where government has to intervene as such beta because it is ultimately the responsibility of the government to ensure that they meet the needs and concerns of their citizens guys meet the needs and concerns of their citizens why do the private sector fail beta in uh, providing an equilibrium level of output as 
such guys providing the right quantity of goods is what we learn under market failure the reasons for market failure this is what is covered under unit 2 and then beta how can the government take corrective actions guys how can the government intervene as such beta through progressive rates of taxations through incentives uh, through providing reservation system jo bhi hai beta that is covered as a part of unit 3 that is covered as a part of unit 3 as such guys तो हाँ बेटा आई सेड हाउ डज अ रिसोर्स एलोकेशन वर्क इन प्राइवेट सेक्टर प्राइवेट सेक्टर में इट इज मेनली डिटरमाइंड बाय द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई एंड प्राइस मैकेनिज्म व्हिच इन टर्न इज डिटरमाइंड बाय कंज्यूमर नीड्स एज सच गाइस एज अप एंड प्रोड्यूसर्स प्रॉफिट मोटिव्स गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर में इट इज थ्रू देयर थ्रू द गवर्नमेंट्स रेवेन्यूज एंड थ्रू द गवर्नमेंट्स एक्सपेंडिचर एज सच गाइस इन रियालिटी इट इज अ मिक्स ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दैम परफेक्ट गाइस हाँ and then beta the failure on the part why government intervention is required because there's a failure on the part of the free market as such guys of the market to provide uh, or to ensure optimum allocation of resources government intervention is not a replacement guys of market action it is only complementing not substituting the market action not substituting as such guys and then we discuss the concept of government failure there can be instances beta where instead of eliminating or correcting the markets uh, you know misallocation of resources government intervention by it actually contribute due to them beta might actually create inefficiencies might actually result in misallocation of resources this is because of corruption this is because of uh, political uh, you know guys favorable matlab those political interest is there beta that is why it is happening and then guys it can be due to inadequate information guys inadequate information and then beta after allocation function we spoke about redistribution function we said if distribution function is left to the market guys there'll be huge amount of inequality in income and wealth there'll be huge inequality beta in income and wealth that is why we cannot leave distribution to the market so if distribution cannot be left to the market guys the government has to interfere the government has to interfere beta so that to ensure there is just an equitable distribution of income wealth and there are opportunities beta to every individual do not forget beta uh the demand for goods as such guys would depend upon the income levels as such guys because the income levels are low if there's a high inequality as such beta uh it can lead to lower demand for certain products beta and the economy automatically will not be operating at equilibrium level will not be operating at equilibrium level so redistribution beta can be through income side where the government is levying higher taxes beta on certain uh, individuals who are making higher incomes as such guys on the expenditure side beta it can be free housing subsidized housing free food subsidized food free petroleum products jo bhi hai beta free electricity so <coughs> that is uh, under redistribution function so your redistribution function beta aims at what is the objective beta it is to ensure beta that there is redistribution of income so that there is just distribution of societal output and then beta there are uh, you know basic necessities advancing the well being of the members of the society providing equality in income wealth and opportunities providing security guys and uh, how can the government ensure redistribution functions through reservations through free housing free uh, food as such beta scholarships to students as such guys and then beta through progressive rates of taxation a lot of examples have been spoken about then beta we finally move down to the third fiscal function guys and that is stabilization function stabilization function kya hai beta in short what is stabilization function do not forget as such guys that business cycles are a natural phenomena as such guys whatever market mechanism is in place beta that will lead to that will lead to business cycles market does not have the right kind of mechanism in place guys to prevent or avoid to prevent or reduce the impact of these business cycles that is why government intervention is required as per keynesian theory also beta government intervention is a must counter cyclical government intervention if government does not interfere as such beta uh, these these uh, you know guys inequalities the hardships that are being caused as such beta the instabilities will prolong will prolong as such beta and then it can be a case of stagflation as such guys or it can be international uh, disturbances having an impact on our economy as such beta on 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 our, our economy so government intervention beta will be in the form of counter cyclical fiscal policy government can interfere through fiscal policy or through monetary policy as such guys monetary policy is by regulating the supply of money interest rates through fiscal policy guys again there are two components you know the balance between the leakages and the injections into an economy guys or specific policies addressed at specific sectors specific policies addressed at specific sectors guys theek hai sir over overall stabilization function beta deals with the uh, employment levels deals with stability of prices deals with balance of payments deals with the national output national income guys okay 
इन केस ऑफ रेसेशन गेस इन केस ऑफ रेसेशन एस बेटा यू विल वॉन्ट द गवर्नमेंट बेटा टू हैव अ डेफिसिट बजट यू विल वॉन्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू हैव मोर इंजेक्शन एंड लीकेजेस यू विल वॉन्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू रिड्यूस टैक्सेस और टू इंक्रीज द गवर्नमेंट स्पेंडिंग और कंबाइन बोथ ऑफ दम और इन केस ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन एस बेटा यू वुड वॉन्ट अ सरप्लस बजट यू विल वॉन्ट मोर लीकेजेस एंड लेस इंजेक्शन एस सच गेस यू वुड वॉन्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू इंक्रीज टैक्सेस और यू विल वॉन्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू रिड्यूस देयर स्पेंडिंग एस सच गेस और अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दम दिस इज वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर रिमेंबर द मेन क्राक्स ऑफ एलोकेशन फंक्शन रिमेंबर द मेन क्राक्स of redistribution function and uh, stabilization function you will be able to answer any question of this chapter please do not worry we have discussed a lot you have discussed everything in detail that's the end of this session guys bye bye guys see you guys in the next class